and the test has now begun. Now this test is a five point test running from zero flow up to the maximum or full scale uh, set point of the mass flow controller. Our 50 SCCM flow is particularly challenging for a lot of gas flow standards. Uh, the low flow tends to make it slower to reach stability and also makes it a little harder to get accurate data. This is a good way to highlight the uh, advantage of getting continuous flow using the mole block and uh, getting nice, fast, automated data using Compass software. Now, while, while the test is running, I'll describe for you some of the components that are being used. The Molebox One Plus terminal is taking measurements from the uh, mole block, both pressure and temperature measurements, calculating flow. Uh, this is one of a couple of mole block or a couple of mole box terminals offered by Fluke. We have the mole box RFM, which is a smaller, portable, uh, lower cost um, mole box terminal, and then this mole box One Plus, which is a replacement or update for a very popular mole box One terminal. This is that has been on the market for some time. Now, during the test, the uh, mole box One Plus is going to measure both the upstream and downstream absolute pressure, and also the uh, absolute temperature coming through that cable off of the mole block to calculate flow. The mole block and the MFC are both sitting on a mounting platform called a mole stick. The mole stick, uh, in addition to providing convenient um, connections and mounting for your mole block and device under test, also includes all of the components needed to provide a stable pressure and clean supply gas to come through. We have a filter on this mole stick, a specialized pressure regulator used for low flow, and a shutoff valve, and in cases where it's needed, a uh, gas flow control control valve can also be included on the mole stick. Now our mole block here is a laminar flow element type mole block or mole block L. Our laminar flow elements in uh, the mole block mole box system are unique in that they are they use a, uh, a patented design that includes a thin flow path for the gas to travel through the mole block which is defined in this case by a piston and cylinder so you have a very small annular space that produces up to a 50 kPa or almost 7 psi pressure drop, which is much larger than typical. And it also allows us to measure the temperature accurately by forcing the gas to take on the temperature of this relatively large uh, mole block body made of stainless steel, which acts as a heat sink. The temperature is measured then by platinum resistance thermometers embedded into the body of the mole block. And um, both the temperature signals are collected and, and passed on with this electronic board on the mole block. And also the calibration coefficients are stored on an EEPROM on the electronic board as well. Now returning over to our test, you can see that both the reference indication, which is coming from the mole block and mole box measurement, and the device under test measurement are shown. Uh, you have error calculations shown in both percent of reading and percent full scale. And note that we have both an error and a set error indicated on the screen. With math flow controller cal calculations, uh, some customers would like to see an error related to the output of the device under test relative to the measurement output of the reference. And in some cases, you'd prefer to see how well the item sets flow with respect to the uh, set point signal that was sent to it, and that would be the set error. In our case, we're using the error, and that's what's being both recorded here and shown in the plot in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, on this plot, you can see error bands of plus and minus 1% full scale indicated by the dashed green lines. Now, this MFC, both on the third and fourth point, you can see we're out of tolerance, and so it's going to need adjustment to bring it back into tolerance before uh, returning to the field. We have uh, one more data point, which is now being collected. At the moment, we're waiting for flow stability, which is uh, indicated on the progress bar at the bottom of your screen. Note on the lower left in your data grid, you have just some of the data that's being collected by Compass. Uh, there's a lot more points being collected here that can be used in the data report later, but it does show uh, the output of both the device under test and the reference mole block on each point. Um, indicates whether flow was stable and shows both the percent of reading and percent full scale error. Right now we have uh, a good looking data point at 50 SCCM or 100% of the range of the MFC. And there's our final point recorded, which shows uh, intolerance at the top and bottom, but a pretty poor linearity and some need for adjustment, particularly in the middle of the range. Now the test will pause, ask us for notes, and it is finished. And we can move on to adjustment of the MFC.